Am I going to have to give a speech? You're the publisher. Can't you do it? I can warm them up. But you are going to have to get over this fear of public speaking before the book tour. Everybody, can I have your attention? Thank you. Tim has a few words to say. There you go, Tim. They're warmed up. <laughs> well, what do you say at a time like this? Seriously, what do you say? You could uh, thank people for coming. Thank you, Nick. Actually, I'm always thanking Nick, a man famous not only for his ruthless editor's pen, but his patient handholding of crazy authors. <laughs> You'd think that after three novels, I'd start to develop a little confidence, but... For a book like this, we are happy to supply the confidence. Bestseller. Bestseller. Well, that's not gonna happen. What? Come on, short stories don't make money. Short stories weren't making money back in 1908. You'd have to be mathematically illiterate to think they'd do as well as a novel. Okay, Nick, let's step away from the champagne before somebody gets hurt. You slaved over this book right next to me. Why would Northrop even publish it if it's only going to tank? Have you failed to notice you're our star author? Obviously, Elaine wouldn't want to offend you. Uh, honey. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know why I said that. He's joking. Nick knows as well as anyone what you have done is art. So is folding paper into animal shapes, but you don't expect to make a living off it. What the hell is wrong with you? You really think someone who goes through 10 assistants a year and doesn't return her own children's phone calls would give a damn about the state of the American short story? Please, be quiet. I think something's wrong. A title was a mistake, too. People are gonna compare you to Salinger, Boy, are you gonna come up short in that one. <gasps> Honey? Call 911. Help! We need help! Cameron brought this up from the ER. Doesn't look like a friendship bracelet. It's Phineas Gage. Most famous case study in medical history. You're telling me this patient got a railroad spike drilled through his frontal lobes? No, no trauma, but he does have frontal lobe disinhibition just like Gage. Gage was a different person after the spike, argumentative, impulsive. Whereas our guy became a different person after Chardonnay. He was sober when they brought him in. There's also the nosebleed, the collapse. MRI show anything? Nothing. Good. What fun would that be? So the tumor is not in the cool neighborhood. It's cool neighborhood adjacent. A well-placed tumor in the nasal cavity eroding into the brain could do the damage. Go stick a scope up Phineas's nose, see what you find. Daddy, I'm always gonna win if you keep telling me what your cards are. Then suppose I tell you while I tickle you. <laughs> Mr. Greenwald, I'm Dr. Taub. This is Dr. Kuttner. We're here for another test. Sorry about that. You don't look sorry. Um, no offense. Although you do look kind of cheerful. It's a little creepy. Should I want a doctor who's excited about how sick I am? I'm not. We're gonna put this up your nose, scan for any problems. I can assure you that we are completely unexcited about that. Fine. Excuse me, sweetie. Oh, hold on. She has an auditory processing disability. Marika Balika, you have to get off the bed. This might be slightly uncomfortable. Honey, do you mind if I step out? I have to make sure the final arrangements are in place for the breast cancer walk. Yeah, you do that. I'll pretend to be macho while a guy stuffs three feet of plastic up my nose. It's too bad it's not your nose. Lots more room to maneuver. I guess the walk can wait 10 minutes. Or in a sensible world, even longer. Just how does tying up traffic for six hours stop breast cancer? You know how it works. People donate. Why not spend six hours building houses for Habitat for Humanity? Or is it wrong to help two groups of people at once? I bet there are those who have breast cancer and no home. It's my job, Nick. I mean, you walked yourself last year. To be supportive, because I knew you wouldn't have sex with me if I didn't. I'm gonna make my call. Make this go away. That honker really is huge, isn't it? Do you understand? No, I'm lying, except I can't. You ask me questions. While I talk, you look at my brain activity to see where it's screwed up. Then you're gonna cut the screwed up part out to test it. It's depressing, but it's not rocket science. I think he understands. I don't mean to be abrasive, especially since you're such a pleasure to imagine naked. Again, sorry. It's okay. Thank you for understanding. I do you, though. Really, my apologies. This stuff just... It's okay. 
How's Paige? Whoa, I would do her in a minute with fudge and a cherry on top. Would someone please explain to this woman there's only so many apologies I He has frontal lobe disinhibition. I've already embarrassed myself with one doctor, whom I am at this moment imagining with you in a king-size bed with a mirror on the ceiling. I am so, so sorry. But if I couldn't have both of you together, you would definitely be my first choice. Where's house? It's like trying not to think of an elephant. Not that you're an elephant. Your breasts, in fact, are all <laughs> homo sapiens. House isn't here. Oh, he wouldn't have paged me if he couldn't watch and enjoy the... Your tush is like the pistons in a Ferrari. Baseline. What can we ask him that's indiscreet, but that he won't hate us for knowing? Nick, do you vote the same way as your wife? God, no. Good. He's spiking at 30. She believes I voted for Hillary Clinton in the primary and Obama in the general. You're thinking I'm secretly a Republican, right? Wrong. I secretly don't vote. Ever. Wait, you're 46 and you've never voted? Your voice is no longer attractive to me with that note of disapproval. Although I'm sure that'll pass. Look at that. This is a spot on the cingulate gyrus. It's not lighting up. One vote makes a difference, not mathematically Okay, true. Nick, we've got what we need. We can't biopsy that. It's too close to the brainstem. Could be neurosarcoidosis. At least it's treatable. So we give him steroids, and if we're right, we should start seeing his symptoms improve within half a day. What are you looking at? I find your strong attachment to a working democracy to be extremely sexy. <sighs> you smooth talk. 